Hey guys, I'm Shira Blumenthal. And I'm Stephen Michael Mooney. And we're here to talk about yarn buzz. Buzz buzz stitches. Hey Stitches, welcome back to Yarn Buzz, where the yarn world and the real world meet. Did you miss us? We've been gone a while. We have been gone a while. And we missed you. We missed you. Are you watching any good shows this summer? Um, I did finish Handmaid's Tale. Yes! Yeah. We're bringing it up because Serena is an avid knitter. Mostly because there's nothing else to do. But there were times where I thought uh, Offred was just gonna grab those needles and just like, Stab straight in the jugular. I can totally agree with you. Don't you think that she kind of makes like knitting a little creepy? It's like when I think of knitting, I think of it as like people knit together and yay, what are you That's making? That's so funny because I think about if uh, women could like start doing more things, she could open a shop have like scarves by Serena or something. <laughs> scarves by Serena. <laughs> yeah. No, that's super cute. Yeah, we'll sell that to Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told you enjoy knitting as well. Yes. Yes, very much so. Well, it's a really great show, with or without the knitting, and I got a lot of Emmy nods, so I'm excited. Episode one, we asked for a fact check, and we got it. We were talking about making it, Amy Poehler and Nick Offerman's new show on NBC. Amy Poehler does knit, it is a fact. There's a picture of her in her book, Knitting. Book is called, Yes, yes Please. please. It's a crafty stitch. And the show is coming out July 31st, and I'm very excited to watch the show. It will be interesting to see how their crafts are kind of integrated into sure. the show. I'm calling it like a great British Bake Off kind of show where it's just like friendly competition and rather than craft. And it's craft. Do you think Amy Poehler has taught Tina Fey to knit? Does Tina Fey knit? Question that of the day. That is the question. Leave, leave a possible answer in the comments below. Let's see. Maybe or if you know Tina, send her a quick text. Just be like, hey T. Do you think she goes by tea? <laughs> Maybe. I'm calling you S for the rest of the day. You have something to share with us because I, I'm not familiar with the topic. Unravel 2. Unravel which just came 2. out last month uh, on PlayStation, Xbox, and Microsoft Windows. Lots of options. This uh, version is really fun, number two, because it's both single player and multiplayer. But the uh, cool thing about this whole game yeah. is the lead character's name is Yarny. And he's a little yarn doll. How cute is that? I know that you don't play video games. No. But now knowing that there's this video game that revolves this around a knit like, character, do you think you'd put down you the needles what? for a controller? I would I would give it a go. And you know what? There are also a lot of knitters that are gamers. But we'd love to know if you would put your needles down to uh, play Unravel 2. Leave a comment below. Hashtag needles down. Controllers up. Steven, let's talk about summer cover-ups. Let's ask. Let's talk about <laughs> cover-ups, because I hate exposing my body on the beach. <laughs> I love a good cover-up. Actually, like when I go to the beach, like that's all I pack. Gigi Hadid and Ashley Graham have been spotted this summer wearing crochet cover-ups. Yes, such pretty ladies. I am a humongous Ashley Graham fan. You want to know something about Ashley Graham? I would love to know a fact. She was, and I hate the term, but she was the first plus-size model to ever walk in a Michael Kors show. She wore a knit dress. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, a little belted knit dress. She looks dynamite in it she, because it does hug her curves and she looks beautiful. I think more and more we are embracing everyone for their own beauty. How do you feel about the term plus-size model? I am not into it at all. It, we are all models. If someone called me a plus size host, that would be the last thing they wrote on a YouTube comment. <laughs> Have you ever knitted or crocheted a piece that you just felt like dynamite in? We want to know in the comments below. Steven, I want to tell you about this super cute show. Tell me about it. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's called Younger and it's on TV Land. It's in its fifth season now, but it's going into its sixth yes, season renewal. soon. I'm very excited. Well, you know who I do is. know, but tell everyone out there. The queen. Sutton Foster. Oh, love her. But also Hilary Duff. If I had a heart on this side, I would do it. <laughs> if I had two hearts, it would be. Oh, no, here. Sutton Hold on. Here, Duff. I'll heart. Thank you. You're welcome. Just everyone. Fun fact about Sutton Foster is she is an avid crocheter. I didn't know that. Yeah, and on her Instagram, she posts all these beautiful blankets that she's made. And Lion Brand got in touch with her and the cast of Younger and we presented them these really cute crocheted dolls of everyone in the cast made by a very talented oh, blogger that's awesome. that we know. We gave it to them and they were super happy about it and they really looked like them and it was really cute. You know Sutton Foster is an artist and, and paints and she sells them on her website so I wonder if she sells any of her blankets or Ooh. any of her other you know, knitwear. Hey Sutton, if you're watching, maybe you want to paint a picture of us. 
celebrity. It's game time. <laughs> game time. I love a game, and here are the rules. Do you want me to join in with you, or do you want to? Let me hear your pitch. And Thank now you. it's time for Who's, Who's that, that Stitch? Here it is. I have a celebrity knitter or crocheter. Okay, I'm going to give you three clues to guess who that person is. Okay. We want you to play along at home to see if you can guess it. And just to be clear, Steven does not know who I'm talking about. No, and I'm a little bit worried that it's filmed. Here we <laughs> go. She once knit something for Ellen DeGeneres. She once played a plastic. She is in the new Mamma Mia 2 film. Yes, Steven. Well, there is a 60% chance that it's already raining. Yes! Amanda Seyfried! It's like I have ESPN or something. She is a knitter and a crocheter. So she made Ellen a hat, and this is one of those stars that uses her time on set to knit. I knit constantly. Mm -hmm. And her Instagram, I remember specifically her working on a granny square afghans, and she also made a really cute sweater. So she's like an avid crafter. I love that. Shira? Yes? That was a blast. I'm so glad you had fun. Yeah, but I gotta get out of here before I unravel. Ha ha! <laughs> well guys, before you go, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you haven't already, there is a newsletter called The Yarn Buzz that comes out once a week. So subscribe to that, and the link is below. So until next time, see, see you, you later, later stitches. stitches.